Hi, in this video we're going through whether or not you should purchase a McKenzie Airfield hangar business in GTA 5 Story Mode. Hi and welcome back, my name's Dan and I'm an old grumpy gamer. Grand Theft Auto is a truly massive game. Between GTA 5 and the constant updates from Rockstar for GTA Online, there's no shortage of new content and interesting things to do. Join me then in our continuing series, Every Business in GTA 5, as we look at the Grand Theft Auto business, the McKenzie Airfield Hangar. Before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, we do how-to guides, news and giveaways, so consider subscribing and ringing the bell to stay up to date. The first business you can buy in GTA 5 Story Mode is the McKenzie Field Hangar, which unlocks after the Nervous Run mission. This allows Trevor to run arms to potential buyers all over Los Santos. The business itself is $150,000, but is it worth it? Well, let's do the numbers. Starting with the air traffic missions. Now you'll have five distinct runs, the first one of which will give you $7,000, plus the option to pick up some accuracy and time bonuses, giving you a tally of $7,250 in-game dollars. The second option will give you a bonus for altitude as well, which gives you a maximum payout of $7,375, and then runs three through five also end up just giving you the two bonuses to a maximum payout of $7,250, but let's be honest, most of the time it'll be $7,000. The second type of mission we have with this one is a ground trafficking mission where you're in the buggy. Again, run one will give you a pistol and $5,000. Run two will give you a micro SMG or some ammo at least and $5,000. And then three through five will also give you $5,000 a piece with grenades, pump shotguns and assault rifles as additional rewards. So where does that leave us? Well, with the ground trafficking at $5,000, and a maximum average payout for air trafficking at $72.50 with a total of $12,250 per round. Now, each round takes around about 15 minutes to do. We need 13 rounds before we top out our $150,000 investment, which means that we end up spending roughly 3.5 hours of gameplay to get a return on investment. Now, unlike the other businesses in the game, there is no passive side to this one. You have to be active to get it. So the question actually becomes, do you get the hangar? And to be honest, probably not at the start of the game. You've got $150,000 that could be better spent elsewhere, and it will take you quite some time to grind back that investment. However, it is a lot of fun to play these missions. So what I'd probably suggest is after you've done the first hotel assassination where you've got some spare cash and you've got a bit more of a feel for the game, then I'd probably dive in then. That'll give you a chance to get some better weapons, to get a bit of experience, to make sure you've got some cash under your belt so you're not leaving Trevor strapped for the rest of the missions and will give you the luxury of time. You won't have to grind that three and a half hours of solid gameplay loop to be able to get that return on investment and continue with the game. However, that's just one man's opinion so feel free to comment below and let us know what you thought and thanks for watching check out the video up the top for the hangar missions or the one down the bottom for some more old grumpy gamer goodness stay safe wash your hands and we'll see you in the next video